Beautiful Pisces, this is Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings. I'm here to do your reading for the first week of April. Happy April. <laughs> Hope you all had a really nice holiday. Um, thank you all. Some of you sent me um, notes saying, where are you? <laughs> we missed you. I took a little break. I was out of town um, over the weekend and enjoying my family and some dog events that I um, took Sparky to. So thank you for checking in on me. It's nice to be missed. I appreciate that. And also thanks so much for all of your super chat thanks. And some of you sent cash app donations and all of your nice comments and everything. And mostly thank you for being here. I wouldn't have a channel without you. I really realized how much I missed you guys when I took a break. So here we go. i um, going to see what's coming up for you Pisces. And Chippy came in to join you again today, too. I give him his little cookie. He can take a nap. <laughs> okay, let's see what's coming, Pisces. I always pull these by feel, and that way I get additional meaning and don't miss anything, hopefully. I like to give you all the details. Let's see, Pisces. Okay, let's turn them over and see what's coming. Interesting. Some of you have been a little bit worried about something and I want you to know that's ending, okay? I see in your immediate future there's a situation where you may be um, worrying or having a little sleepless night about something, but it's ending, it's starting to dissipate. And I am seeing this with the Seven of Cups as well, okay? I feel like things are going to be clearer. This came up reverse. It's like coming up in your immediate future, Pisces, things are going to start to clear up. Like whatever it is you were worrying about in March, I feel like this month, you've got clear sailing, okay? It's going to be so much better. Um, some of that's because what's really significant is the Street of Pentacles. So some of you are getting a new job. Um, some of you are getting new opportunities or something coming in where uh, the doors are going to start to really open for you Pisces and this looks super super good coming up. Your challenge card is the temperance card so you might have a little bit of a challenge this month just keeping things balanced you know it's a busy month and that sort of thing but overall this is still a good card this is still a card of peace and flow and things moving forward and things like that and also the card of an angel. And this can be, um, for some of you, as a separate meaning Sagittarius. So there may be a conflict or challenge with um, someone that is Sagittarius this month, okay? When we go over here into your energy, things have been moving fast, Pisces, haven't they? <laughs> I get like things have been zooming along and you're having a hard time keeping up. Like all this energy is rushing in and it's not a bad thing, but it just... Um, Fast. I feel this overwhelming kind of energy that you're thinking about like I can't keep up is what I get with this Knight of Swords energy and underneath that um, I feel like your water energy is a little imbalanced and this again goes back to balance in this reading with this temperance card as well being your challenge um, I got the King of Cups here reversed and you know this is often a Pisces card and sometimes when this is reversed it's just saying things feel out of balance things feel overwhelming um, the King of Cups can sometimes be somebody secretive or there may be some secrets um, potentially something that's out of balance with somebody um, who is probably a water sign around you at this time Pisces okay could be you could be somebody you're dealing with now, coming up in your immediate future, like I said, um, whatever you felt anxious about, that's starting to end. That's going to go into the past, and I really wouldn't even worry too much about it based on what I'm seeing. And the way other people are seeing you is, this time is 
the empress ta-da <laughs> i always see you as the empress like which reading have i ever done that you didn't come up as the empress like every single time right and other people are seeing you like this now she did come up reversed like the empress is feeling a little bit overwhelmed at this time which would make sense because i am seeing some overwhelmed cards coming up this month just feeling like it's too much things are moving too fast right now um, but the empress is never a bad card and the empress is very nurturing very loving and nurturing and brings things to fruition she can either um, bring you know like create babies or empires okay and I'm feeling like for some of you um, this could be a pregnancy card okay and of course as a disclaimer I am NOT a doctor and I'm not giving any sort of medical advice here but you can see in the card she's pregnant okay <laughs> so just reading the cards and this does represent she's in the position here of your energy and how other people are seeing you okay she looks very happy and very much um, in love with life and uh, really taking good care of herself so you can see she's especially in this card she's just feeling like she's in the lap of luxury okay and this is how other people are kind of seeing you at this time Pisces this may not be necessarily how you're feeling but this is how other people are seeing you this is your the perception of others okay I think the way you're feeling is a little overwhelmed temporarily and we'll see what we can do about that so when we go over here we've got you may have walked away from some situation um, that put you in a position of juggling money temporarily okay I don't see that as a huge big deal at this time but it's there so I just give you everything I get okay let's do some clarification here Pisces um, let's see what these new opportunities are okay I'm really excited about these new opportunities for you because that looks very promising and you know I go by feel a lot because I am an empath and I feel that this is exciting for you these new opportunities or new job for you so what is that ah brings you back into balance king of cups so you went from upside down king of cups here to upright with these new opportunities okay so yeah it is going to bring you more balance in a lot of ways both emotionally and um, financially as well okay what are these new opportunities hmm. there's something about a sneaky energy with these new opportunities you might be worrying about somebody yeah in a tower you might be worrying about somebody trying to throw this off or something because I know some of you have dealt with some toxic energy or you may be getting new opportunities because this already happened the tower and the sneaky person yeah but look at this here's the strength card so there's definitely um, you being stronger in a stronger position with these new opportunities maybe you'll have more time to take care of yourself and things like that and um, this also is involving some sort of message or a new, um, a new friendship some sort of message of good news definitely coming in about these new opportunities yeah and the stalemate is over okay so I'm feeling like if you've been in a situation where you couldn't move forward you couldn't move backward you felt like you went through this tower moment um, it's bringing you back into balance this is either a new job or new opportunities to make money um, new ideas you know there's going to be something there that really is changing things for you Pisces coming up in April it's really positive let's ask about temperance why is temperance your challenge at this time temperance is the card of balance and a flow of energy so it's not a bad card at all but it does show up as a challenge yeah, some of you are worried about negative energy with this five of swords I feel like there's been somebody kind of bothering some of you in a new path let's see hold on let's see what is temperance about yeah okay some of you walked away from toxic energy shown in this five of swords and um, you're taking a whole new path and it's bringing you more financial stability okay and more balance all right so your challenge was you were feeling potentially out of balance and a little bit overwhelmed but this is what's coming in this is your clarification you walked away from this toxic energy all right whole new path away from that 
the toxic energy, if it, especially if it was in a job, I feel like that's what was causing a lot of you to feel out of balance to begin with and feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, so yeah, you walked away from it. There it is, Eight of Cups. You're like, goodbye. <laughs> I'm walking away from that. Um, so Pisces, let's go over here and let's clarify this Nine of Swords and um, Seven of Cups, where it looks like the nightmare is ending. And I say the nightmare is from that Five of Swords. What is up with that? Because I feel like things are getting clearer. Now you can see the forest for the trees kind of thing, okay? Yeah, the tower. The tower is what caused that for you. And that is now upside down. And there's somebody who is immature, Page of Swords, who was creating a little bit of a problem for you there for a while. And you have um, you might have felt some sort of betrayal. Some of you may have had a betrayal, and now that is all dissipating. Um, Let's see what else. What else do they want to say about that? Yeah. Whatever that power struggle was is ending. This is being set free from something. This is breaking free from something. Let's ask, why do people see you as the Empress? I can guess because you are. <laughs> because a lot of you are the Empress or the Emperor. Take it as it resonates. What do we need to know about Pisces and the Empress Chariot? They see you, you're being perceived as very successful and on your path, Pisces. That makes so much sense. And the star. Look at the star energy. This is the star of hope. This is all about positivity and you being maybe in the limelight. Some of you may be a star of some sort. And this is about people seeing you as very successful and very much on your path and like the stars lining up for you, okay? Let's go over here and ask about Two of Pentacles. Why is this in your hopes and fears position? Two of Pentacles is just, you know, juggling money. It's not a bad card. Yeah, Three of Cups. You. This could have to do with emotional things as well, like um, being juggled, you know, um, things not being clear. Things being really out of balance, feeling like they're going off track. And Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, like you were wanting some sort of a new beginning with this Two of Pentacles, okay? And these came up, some of these came up reversed. Like there's a delay, some things were off track, you didn't get the new beginning you wanted. Um, yeah, there's some things here. Three of Cups can represent... Um, being juggled in a third party situation. There was a betrayal that came up earlier too. So for some of you, some not everybody, don't try to make this fit if it's not your reading. You'll know. You'll know if this is yours right away. And it's um, some of you went through that sort of situation, but not everybody. And with, for some of you, it could have been a Sagittarius that caused a problem. And for some of you, it could have been a water sign energy that had caused a problem. Yeah, there's some of that that came up. Let me just see if there's anything else here that Pisces needs to know. And then I'm going to switch over to these tea leaf cards for you. Yeah, here's Knight of Swords reversed again. This is twice it came up. Like this is sort of hanging over you, this fast moving, overwhelming energy. Like some situation came rushing in and then left again. Like it came in, caused some trouble, then left again. You know, just sort of whooshed through. <laughs> Got the Hierophant. Yeah, it may have had something to do with a marriage or commitment. Could have also, for some of you, had to do um, had to do with your beliefs or belief system or a church or the clergy or somebody like that. And there's the High Priestess. So there may have been secrets involving one of those things, like a marriage or um, your beliefs about something or. Yeah, and the Queen, I mean, sorry, King of Cups came up reversed also earlier, which I said had to do with secrets, and here we have High Priestess reversed. There was something secretive that went on, potentially, regarding a marriage and or a religious situation. Church, um, or somebody involved in the church. Commitments, long-term commitments, things like that or a Taurus. This could have also been a Taurus energy. 
And again, some sort of a power struggle, Pisces, that some of you went through that has now ended. And it may have been over children or over a younger person, shown in this page of cups, which has come up twice. Could have even, for some of you, been a narcissistic energy. Somebody very narcissistic and or younger. Okay, take it as it resonates. Let's switch over here, Pisces. Um, this is like a lot. This is like a really mixed bag and this is typical. <laughs> I love this. This is typical of your readings because they do tend to go in a lot of different directions and um, give us a lot of different storylines for all of you Pisces. So not everything in every reading will fit every person. I mean, it's impossible, but they do try to hit a lot of different um, things that are happening for the viewers. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know? Pisces, you need to know, um, you may be getting some advice from a friend and keep your life in balance. Yeah, that was a big theme here about balance. Uh, like I said, we had this temperance card as your challenge, which is the, the card of balance also, okay? And the card of flowing and peacefulness and tranquility. Okay. What else do you need to know, Pisces? This one I wanted to come out. The hills. Obstacles. You have obstacles to overcome, but you will overcome them. And this is heartache over what you no longer have. The spear card. So for some of you, you may have, especially with the tower that came up earlier, you may have gone through a situation where things sort of fell apart. And now they're coming back together and you're getting these new opportunities and more money and things are coming together again. But some of you did go through some real changes in that way. This is the quill. It says get back to the basics. Good advice, right? Sometimes just going back to square one, just get to the basics is the best way to solve things and get back to balance. So more balance, basics, that sort of thing is exactly what these cards are saying. All right, final words here, Pisces. We've got the dragon, beware of self-delusion. Okay, that may be true for some of you, especially um, with the King of Cups reversed. Beware of any kind of self-delusion, which is the dragon card. Take that as it resonates, okay? We have that right next to love, deep affection, and caring, okay? So in other words, don't delude yourself about a relationship. Um, don't, don't be in that state of limerence, you know? You know limerence, like pretending that something's going on when it's really not? pretending that some person is really in love with you when they're really not. Just be aware of that, okay? It's not for everybody, but there it is. And we've got the bull card here. The bull card is do not step down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude, okay? And I said that earlier with the um, Hierophant that came up, that it can be a Taurus energy that you're dealing with, and this can be too. Here's the bull, the Taurus bull, okay? So anything else you need to know, Pisces? Let's pull one, let's pull one more card from this deck. Anything else Pisces needs to know? Because you know, the thing, the thing I'm taking from this reading is you are you are definitely breaking free from something, Pisces. I feel like um, there's been something here that's been throwing your life out of balance, whether it's a job or a relationship. Um, or a person or something to do with beliefs or spirituality or churches and things like that and I feel like you're you're setting yourself free <laughs> from this and it's um, it's gonna bring you great success it's gonna really put you on your track keep you in your beautiful Empress energy anything else Pisces needs to know yeah look at this nine of Pentacles you guys <laughs> So this is all about you being in the lap of luxury, you having your material goods and being happy. Um, this is a real happiness card, okay? And this can be you, some of you, 
um, being on your own, being very independent, having your independent wealth and doing your thing. You know, you do you, right? That's what they say. So that's what this card is all about. And I'm going to leave you with that today. I feel like that's a good place to stop this reading. You know, this person is very much in their balanced Empress energy. Okay. So I would take this. This is your takeaway today, Pisces. Okay. Really, really overall good reading. You guys are on such a good track. And I can't wait to hear what all of your new opportunities are. Okay. So take good care and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for coming in today. Bye-bye.